Welcome everyone. The CSCDA offers multiple data download mechanism. In this video, we will show you how to access and download PRISM data via FTP protocol. This is particularly useful when the amount of data is very large. More details about the downloadable EO products are available on the data offer webpage of the CSCDA portal while the access rights information are available on the dedicated section of the same website. There are several clients that can be used for this purpose. In this video, we will use FileZilla. The same principles remain valid for other clients. To add an FTP, click on File, Site Manager, and then New Site. You will now need to enter all the credentials for accessing the server. In the General tab, enter the host field as follows, cdsdata.copernicus.eu. Select FTP as protocol. In the encryption menu, choose Require Implicit FTP over TLS. Now choose Account in the Logon type and fill in the fields below with the credentials of your SSO account. Fill in user and account with your username and enter your password. Then click on Connect. You should now see a list of folders. Only some of them are explorable according to your accessing rights. For more information about the accessing rights, please visit the CSCDA portal. In this case, we are connected as a public user. We can therefore, for example, see the worldwide dam at 90 and 30 meters resolution data, but we cannot see the Copdam dam as per access rise to Copernicus dam dataset. The dataset is archived following a geographic hierarchy structure. The dam dataset path is structured according to the following convention. Dam and dataset, dataset ID, dataset versioning, continents, countries, and finally the products. For instance, DAM dataset, COPDAM GLOW 90, 2020, first, South America, Chile. When you have found the data you are interested in, you can download it to a local folder with a simple drag and drop. Please be informed that, considering the huge number of products in the Copernicus DAM dataset, a timeout of user FTP clients may occur when listing all them in the remote folders, especially when the user network connectivity is not very fast. To avoid this, please modify the default timeout value of your file manager client. In this case, you can do it by clicking on Edit, Settings, and inserting at least 120 seconds in the timeout field. For further and more specific information about this process, you can find the official guidelines on the CSCDA portal under Auto Access Data, Data Discovery and Download. This is everything for this video. Thank you for watching.